Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that if you are like me and use Google Chrome as your PDF viewer, then Google has now added support for XFA based PDF forms in Google Chrome's PDF document viewer. Now XFA stands for XML Forms Architecture and XFA forms are basically embedded inside PDF documents. Now this is an example of what an XFA form looks like and basically you enter the different data into the different uh, fields that require the data to be entered into and you can type data in the XFA form but you can't save that data in the form. So basically what you do is you enter it and then you print the document out for future reference. Now if your PDF viewer uh, in the Google Chrome web browser um, can't display uh, XFA PDF documents, you'll get an error message saying if this message is not eventually replaced by proper contents of the document, your PDF viewer may not uh, be able to display this type of document. So you'll see that error message if you are trying to open an XFA PDF viewer and you are not able to uh, obviously view that document. And obviously Adobe Acrobat Reader will be able to read an XFA PDF uh, document. Now in Google Chrome, the stable version, um, this is not enabled by default and we have to use a flag to enable uh, PDF uh, XFA support. And in uh, our address bar, our Omnibox, we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Just to repeat that again, that's chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in this search, you just uh, enter PDF basically and you'll see one of the flags listed here will be PDF XFA support. And it says uh, enables support for XFA forms in PDFs has no effect if Chrome was not built with XFA support. And that's for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, Android. And then you change the default setting to enabled. You relaunch uh, Google Chrome to apply that flag. And in future now, if you are using Google Chrome as your uh, PDF document form viewer, you'll be able to read those embedded XFA PDF forms in Google Chrome's PDF viewer. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.